What happens when a plate of leftover turkey finds its way into the lab of IBM scientists? Rather than make lunch, they made history. Sam was a material scientist. Sri was a chemist. I'm a physicist, and we were charged with making new discoveries in laser science. Lasers have been around since 1960, but they vary in color, and color means vary in wavelength. It was fortunate that I started studying the action of ultraviolet excimer lasers. I suggested to him three, and that he ought to uh, play with it and see what he might uh, find. IBM was very much into manufacturing chips, and they had to be placed on an insulating plastic surface called Kapton. When this problem of using some device to drill holes in this Kapton, I started using this laser, and it produced holes with great ease. So it just occurred to me while I was staring at the turkey, I don't particularly care for the turkey, that if this laser works so well on Kapton, it should also work on tissue. Instead of burning or cutting, the Eximer laser removes unwanted tissue by vaporizing layers, while leaving surrounding tissue intact and eliminating the formation of scar tissue. We had been etching things like our hair and our fingernails, but we were afraid to shine the laser on our skin. <laughs> so uh, it was that, that turkey cartler's experiment that, that really um, opened the door. The big winner turned out to be corneal surgery. To improve vision, the cornea is permanently reshaped. 14 years after this first experiment, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved a commercial laser-based system. Today, more than 25 million people worldwide have undergone laser refractive surgery. We've taken optometry from the 19th century into the 21st century. And it started with leftover Thanksgiving turkey cartilage.